uh, in our first uh, video, we talked about how you met in the U.S., the decisions you made, both of you, that you are the right ones for each other, and it's really exciting. You said she has a calm spirit. You said before she even dated you, before he dated you, he introduced you to God. And so God was as a part and parcel of your meeting, and he is still. Now I must say that that is the biggest foundation you guys have built for this relationship. Now as we proceed, uh, friends, I ask you to subscribe, kind of like this video for us, drop us a comment, ask Asha as many questions as you want in our comment section. And so you started on a very good foundation. And you told us that you were financially independent even as you met uh, your future husband. In this seg segment of the video, I want us to talk about keeping the home and uh, what are those financial activities that a lady can take up to be financially independent as well as support her husband. And uh, discuss the two of you what you can do as a young woman to support your husband and grow together. And must the focus be on money? I know of a, an American gentleman who lives with his wife on an island, they grow their crops, they, they live in a small house, they are really happy, they are a godly couple, their life is all about serving God, but they are managing a budget and they are so happy. And so take us there, money in a young family. Okay. Um. Well, as being a woman of the household, um, like I was saying in part one, I was very independent and things and I had my daughter. So I ended up shifting from making, you know, a lot of money and um, working and things like that to being a stay at home mom. Mm -hmm. So now I'm at home with my daughter every day. Um, but also I do take, I do have a part-time job that I do do online maybe about two to three days a week. Mm -hmm. So I'm still bringing in a little bit of income mm -hmm. as well as, as keeping the house clean, cooking. Mm -hmm. And um, so when my husband, he's um, starting a business, a fitness business. So as he's working on those things to get the business up and running, I'm taking care of the house. So that's one thing he doesn't have mm -hmm. to worry about. He doesn't it's, have to yeah. pay costs. Mm -hmm. Now, some ladies stay in the house. They have one child, but they have two maids in the home. Mm -hmm. Talk to people. Saving and making money can be a big challenge if you, the wife, doesn't look at cost saving in the home. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of things that we do now living in Uganda that helps us save cost. Um, instead of buying everything at the supermarket, we go to the regular you know, um, markets. Mm -hmm. um, we do not have a house, girl. I, clean, I cook, um, take care of the ch children, take help care you? of them. Yes, he does help. Yes, <laughs> he does so, help. He yeah, does we, help. We communicate. Together. A lot of it mm -hmm. is communication. Mm -hmm. So let's say when she's working in the kitchen, mm -hmm. I'm watching the baby, mm -hmm. I'm playing with the baby, keeping the baby entertained. Mm -hmm. And then when she transitions the baby to let's go to sleep, then I can clean up, mm -hmm. you know, help mm -hmm. her. So it's just communication. And also as far as finances, we lay everything down and mm -hmm. we say, okay, we have this bill, this bill, this bill. This is the one that's coming right now. Mm -hmm. So it's constant communication so that mm -hmm. you don't have any conflict or any miscommunication so that everything flows well. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm excited about uh, when she say that she has an online job. Mm -hmm. Talk about online jobs. How can people make money online? So I do um, teaching online. I teach English to um, children in non-English um, speaking countries. Mm -hmm. And so I work yeah, like two to three times a week for an hour. And I usually do when the baby's napping. Mm -hmm. So while the baby's up, I can do things and play with her. Um, and plus it's, it's quiet now. So she's napping. Yeah. So, um, and so there's other online jobs. It's, as well, I don't know if you wanted to. Yes, talk about um, online jobs because I really want 
ladies to know that it doesn't have to be you moving from the house to go to the office, mm -hmm. abandon your children, and they grow up in the hands of people that you don't even understand where they're coming from. Some of them have character flaws. Some of them have their own anger issues. And then you let your baby be in their hands. So they can only come and clean and do things as they go. But children at that tender age are your own responsibility. Mm -hmm. Talk about online jobs, both of you. So for me, I teach online, as I've said, and I know there's other jobs that um, some women do. Some women blog, like if they have an interest mm -hmm. in something, like it can be basically anything. You can write on about anything. Mm -hmm. And so they'll start a blogging website and just write and t um, the things that they're interested in mm -hmm. and then as people read and you get kind of like subscribers and then you start bringing in money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some women do YouTube on things that they, you know, love doing. Mm -hmm. um, Instagram. Yep, Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, There's a song for like data entry, mm -hmm. things that you can just, you know, type in. Just mm -hmm. doing at home. Or just mm -hmm. doing at home mm -hmm. and then, you know, you go from there. So mm -hmm. it's just, the good thing about it, it's very flexible. Yeah. So you can do it at your own time mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know. You can plan your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You are telling us you're going to start making money out of physical fitness. Yes. Okay, talk about that. So my dream, ever since I was young, I went to uh, Western Michigan University. That's where I grew up. And I went into the exercise science field. I have a passion for fitness and I've always liked to see people change their lives to be healthier and fit. And so I always wanted to come back to Uganda to start something of that realm and uh, use the skills that I've learned in the US to teach people here about taking care of themselves. And uh, you know, our body is a temple and God made our body a temple. And so we have to take care of it so that we can be able to uh, to achieve our purpose, mm. the reason why we are here on earth. So mm. that's the reason why I decided to come back and start this business. And uh, I'm excited to see how it works in Uganda here because it's very different it's from the US. It's the work because you're professional and uh, you're good, you come. Mm. So you, you will do the work. And so I am excited about you too. And I am praying that many people will pick a leaf or two that marriage is made by two people mm -hmm. and uh, then God has to be at the center of it and then when you are united you can always make money you don't have to struggle this is my money this is the other person's money put the money together on the table pay the bills and be honest as much as possible mm -hmm. with each other I know in, in, in Uganda some men want their own money and uh, they, they, they want to you know, go out there, give out money to relatives, uh, bring up children of relatives at the expense of their own families. And sometimes they don't even consult as they go to do the things. In my last video, the gentleman said that the moment he handed over the financial responsibilities to the woman, all the debts were paid and he has never been in debt again. So I pray that you will find that very inspiring if you have not watched that video. It's called The Remains of 30, The Five Types of Men, in which he talked about the baby husbands. <laughs> the baby husbands go looking for everything, for money, for help, for, you know, they break their women down. And when they have got what they want, they just go here there and they enjoy. And then the cultural husbands, I hope you will not be a cultural husband. Him to be dictating, she doesn't know about that. Okay, so wind up. Let's wind up. Uh, send a message. She's going to send a message to the viewers about women making money and keeping their home. And you're going to talk about making money and taking care of your wife in two minutes. One okay. minute, one minute. Okay, so yeah, I just encourage you know all women to take care of your home because your home is. Like your home is your safe place, it's your, you know, where you find the most peace. Mm -hmm. And so when your home is taken care of and you know what's going on inside of your home and you're the one that's taking care of your home, it's also it's the joy behind it, seeing mm -hmm. your children grow and learn and being there for all of their first steps and words. And so that's one thing that I find very interesting, mm -hmm. um, that I love watching my daughter grow and also being able to keep the home clean so my husband doesn't have to worry about 
you know, what's going on inside of the home, and as well as me still having some independence as, and working part-time. So that's what I would all encourage women to do, um, and also just trusting in God to be your provider, yeah. so you don't have to stress out mm -hmm. and, and about money, and, yeah. wow, and then that's... put that stress on your husband and things, but if you're working together, yeah, both of you are under God. Yes. Well, that's so powerful. You'll be. They all be talking yes. to the men. I, the men, as a man, you're supposed to be the provider. So mm -hmm. as you're providing, making sure that you're still communicating with your partner and making sure that you're on the same page. Uh, I'm not communicating. Tell them that you need to pamper your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all that comes comes in. And uh, obviously you have to hold that to you know, on a pedestal because she's a gift from God to you. Mm -hmm. and you, and you, you have been assigned to take care of her, so you have to take care of her needs, yeah. whatever she needs, whether uh, you just have to support her. Mm -hmm. And so you find out things out by communicating, and mm -hmm. you be like, honey, what do I, what do you, what do you need? Mm -hmm. I need this and that, and listen, and don't uh, be open-minded, mm -hmm. don't close off, and keep so it. So, gentlemen, you've heard. I will not add on and on anything to that. I pray that you fix the lesson for the day. And kindly remember to subscribe, to like, and to share this video. God bless you.